So I'm gonna show you guys today how I do my top rope solo setup and uh, how I switch to my uh, ATC when I'm midway up and then to rappel back down. But uh, disclaimer guys, this is only my second year climbing. I'm a beginner, I haven't had any lessons. All I've done is watch YouTube videos. So I'm not a professional, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So disclaimer, don't try what I'm showing you. I'm just telling you what works for me. I'm just showing you what I do, but I'm not telling you to do it. There's a good chance that you could die. So what I'm trying to emphasize here is don't copy anything I'm showing you. This is just what works for me. Disclaimer, cause you could die. Man, it is hot today. It is hot. So I got a brand new uh, climb. I think it's a 5.8 a or a 5.9, a little bit harder than what I'm used to. So I'm kind of trying to figure it out here, uh, taking a little banana break and a water break. All right, so here's how I like to set up my top rope system. Uh, it makes it super easy. Once you've got your belt on, uh, yeah, problem when you tie your bag on a rope, it gets all knotted up, twisted around. But anyway, you have to weight your rope in order for this all stuff to all slide up and down easy. So the first thing, get me rope set. You're tied up to your anchors on top. I like to put my petzel on both sides of the rope. I've got rabbit ears up at the anchors. So both sides of the rope are tight. You can pull on either side. So you got your shunt, and the beauty of the shunt, it's super light. You don't even know you have it on, and it slides up or down effortlessly. And if it's not sliding that well, you just take the pressure off. The more weight is here, then it hangs up and holds you. But once you take the weight off, it'll slide up and down however you want. So I put that on first, let that hang out. <clears throat> I'm going to take my roll and lock. And put that on next. I always like putting it on the outside left rope. It just works for me. So uh, I'm going to take one side off. Slide that in the top. Put it back on. And both of those stay on the rope by themselves. It's all getting twisted around again. Okay. So both of those. Oh, now it's on the outside. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay. You can cam this back in the open position, so you want to make sure it's going to hold. That's on there. Okay. So I've got this carabiner system. And what I like to do, I like to keep this one on the bottom. And I'll take a girl's scrunchie. Let me get this out of the way. And I'll wrap it around once, twist it, twice, twist it, three times. That's around there three times. So now that I got the, the, uh, the carabiner all set up with the scrunchie, I'm going to slide it onto the petzel, rotate it into the position that it's going to normally be, because this is going to hook to my loop. And then I want to pull this scrunchie down one two of the twists and that way the scrunchie is on both sides of that petzel and that's going to stop it from sliding off one way or the other this is going to be held up i'm going to slide the rolling lock on there and i'm going to slide it through my neck guard so this is what's going to be holding my system up the whole time this is going to be holding it up and this will be facing up just like that. This gets tied onto my loop. Now all we gotta do is connect to the rolling lock and that's easy. I put 
the neck strap around once. I'm going to come up here and grab the rolling lock. I'm going to twist this and put that through again. So now I'm on both sides of the rolling lock. That's going to keep that rolling lock from slipping down. So <clears throat> when this is attached to your belt and you pull it up here, put some weight on it, that's going to get that tight. The rolling lock's going to be tight and that's your system. And then as you climb up, this whole thing just comes up with you. So then once you've gone up and you've wrapped back down, I like to disconnect from the rolling lock first. So twist and disconnect. And then I let this guy dangle, maybe even get it off your neck. And this guy would be attached to your belt still. Slide the scrunchie off the right side and then slide so to go on this goes on like that stays on the other side of the carabiner the scrunchie or you can slide it off get that off so now you've just got your quick release or your uh, quick draw your scrunchie your two locking carabiners your shunt your rolling lock, take the rolling lock off, take your shunt off. Other than that, you leave that shunt on all day as long as you're climbing your route. You only take it off when you're ready to move on to the next one. So with that shunt, you're always attached to the rope, both ascending and rappelling. You're always attached until you're ready to move on to the next climb. Getting ready to start this 5.9 here. This is going to be the, the climb. And uh, just a quick look at my, my top rope setup. Uh, I've got a locking carabiner here. And I've got my Petzl shunt with both ends of the rope going through the shunt. I've got a small uh, uh, draw, quick draw here. And I've got my uh, rolling lock on top with another quick lock. And then I like wrapping my this little neck chain. This is a uh, size uh, 44 Hanes underwear elastic band. And that keeps this thing up high as I'm going. And I've also got a little girl's uh, lady's uh, headband head wrap thing wrapped on both sides of the shunt to keep it from slipping down here. So for the most part, this stays pretty tight. All right. All right, so we're gonna work our way up. Yeah. And uh, let's go. Pretty much got these hand holds. Well, I should, I wanna say I've got them memorized to that first bolt, but uh, really I don't, I'm still winging it. Well, what am I gonna do here? Come over here. Oh yeah, that's where I wanna head, I think. First step is going to be here. 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 And I believe here. All right. First few handholds. All right. That is to the first bolt. <clears throat> Got a good foothold here. 
another good handhold up all right second bolt looking good <sighs> Where am I at now? Where's my handhold? Looks like I've got to make it up to that guy there. So, small little foothold here. Hope that's enough. <sighs> All right, good handhold here. My next handhold. Oh. Somewhere up here. There's a good little jug. Ha. Two good little handholds. That's our destination. But with this heat, is just really coming down. Another good handhold. Can't remember if that's the third bolt or the fourth. Hey, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, man, I've got that forearm pump. All right, I'm gonna sit for just a second here. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Let's finish this out. Let's get up the rest of the way. Yep, well, that's about as high as I'm gonna get on my expertise here. Oh, man, okay. All right, so I'm good up until this, uh, whatever this was. Whew, I'm gonna have to spend a little more time on this trail, but anyway, all right. Let's see how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna get out of this now. Okay. So, I got my rolling lock locked. My shunt is locked. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, uh, a, uh, oh, come on, what's that sliding? A prussic. I'm gonna put a prussic right above here. Get my weight on that prussic and then transition to my uh, ATC. Hopefully you can see that whole process here. First thing, first. Okay, first things first. I've just got my uh, little personal protection doodle here. Okay, this is tied to my belt here. And I'm just gonna bring this up and wrap it around. 
and then transition. Now I'm just gonna slide this around, slide this up, kind of transition my weight. Uh, get it, where it's weight bearing here. All right, I'm just gonna push it up, get myself off of this rolling lock here. So I'm gonna push it up. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Uh, get up, all right. So now my weight's here. And my prusik, my, my rolling lock is already loose. So I'm just gonna take this guy off and get out of that all together. All right, give my hands a break. But right now I'm on my prusik and I'm still on my shunt. So I'm redundant. I'm gonna go ahead and get my rolling lock off of here. Put this away back on its own just put it back on that same thing it was on before and just let it dangle out of the way so I'm gonna slide my uh, ATC right in here I gotta take the weight off of my shunt okay so we're gonna test that you can see the weight is off the shunt obviously and all my weight is right here on my Prusik but the shunt is still on, so if I was to drop, you still got the shunt. All right, let's transition this into, got a quick draw here with my ATC. I'm gonna put my quick draw through both rings. You know what? I think I'll just put it right through this top one. And then, uh, one thing you want to do is get it oriented right so it doesn't twist up your rope. There we go. That's what we want. And this is locked. All right, there you go. That's what you want. You don't want this to be twisted around. So let's get some rope in there. And I got to open up this bad boy. And let's get, okay, lock that. Okay, give myself some rope. I'm gonna pull this tight so I can get all my weight on here and get it off of here. There we go. So now I can see then my weight is on my repel device and I'm still on my shunt as a backup in case I goof something up. I could let go if I wanted to and the shunt would still hold me. I'm gonna take off my Prusik. Let this guy dangle. I'm just gonna let that thing dangle. I can control my speed with my shunt here, my shunt and my left hand and let's go down. There you go. Ah. There we go. The descent's a little bit slow because as you know, all you gotta do is put a little weight on your ATC and it slows you down. But since there's friction on the shunt and there's the weight of the bag, uh, there's no way you're gonna slide down too fast.
you know it's kind of funny i don't know if i've been out in the sun too long haven't drank enough water but i swear every time i'm walking around i can turn and it feels like i can hear people whispering hear people talking in the background and then i'll stop and be quiet and it's just a couple of little flies buzzing around my ear and i'll go okay that's just little flies and then i'll think oh there's some people i hear people and stop oh yeah that's just some flies again i think i need to drink more water and just out monkeying around having a good time get outside guys i hope you enjoyed that video uh it's getting hot i'm gonna wrap it up